afternoon. We are in Rugby, Tennessee, um, in the southern, almost the southernmost end of Big South Fork. I'm going to hike uh, out to General, Gentleman's Swimming Hole and uh, Meeting of the Waters um, here from the Laureldale Cemetery in uh, Rugby, Tennessee. And it's a fairly easy loop trail. I can't remember what the distance is anymore. Um, we're going to do it backwards and get, as my wife calls it, the boring section out of the way first. Um, it's been quite some time since we were here last two. I think the last time in rugby was probably 2015 for uh, my birthday. So uh, we're looking forward to it. It's kind of muggy, uh, mid-60s, overcasty. But uh, we're the only ones here, so it should be pretty enjoyable. And I uh, thought we'd take you along. So we are underway. Um, it's an old roadway. Which I couldn't tell you anything about it. I don't know much about the history out here uh, other than the failed rugby colony thing. Um, a few of the buildings I'm putting in the intro part of this. It, it is kind of neat. If you've never been to rugby, it's worth a stop to see. Um, I think here is where we enter National Park property. I believe it rained here this morning. It did not where we were camped at. But that is... Uh, probably that's a pretty good ways from here. It's an hour drive. That's making a big sea-like circle, though. Yeah. So, like I said, the uh, last time we were here, uh, ballpark uh, spring of 2015, the uh, Rugby Historical Society had a uh, opening weekend and they had some guided hikes through the area, a couple other trails and this one also. Um, they had a St. Patrick's dinner at the cafe at the cafe which uh, as we just drove by it burnt down I think last year, maybe the year before. COVID messes me up on time. Um, but you can look through the woods here and there's still quite a bit of uh, storm damage, obvious from uh, um, like a week before they had that kickoff weekend and we came out for that. They had some pretty strong tornadoes come through the area. So uh, back then a lot of these trails were blocked. And it's uh, clear walking now, but was, uh, you can still see a lot of dead tree and blown over stuff. Oh, and right over here is something I wanted to show you guys. I think it's pretty fascinating. Let me uh, get up to it and I'll turn the camera back on. Yeah, so I wish I could tell you what all this is. I really don't know. Um, but it's right off the trail. Uh, looks like a big storage tank of some sort. Let me get over here where I can see a little bit better. I'm thinking it's for oil. I know there was a little bit of oil drilling activity out here. Uh, but there's, there's that. There's some of the other stuff that belongs to it. Come around the back side here. Some of all this gnarly stuff I might edit out, but... Wish. Like I said, this 
camera's not picking it up good because I'm zoomed out as far as I can, so can't make anything any smaller. But I'm thinking it was something to do with oil and oil refinery. Pretty cool though. Yeah, all this area here is rich in history, um, most though from the rugby colony period, which was uh, 1880s-ish. I think uh, it didn't last long. I think it was like 1880 to 1887, and then it just started to... Uh, and fade away. I'm coming down into the gorge finally. So I'm gonna turn the camera off for a quick second because you know, the rocks are slippery and they're wet. Okay. We are coming up on a spot known as Meeting of the Waters. I'll show you when we get down here to it, but it's a pretty nice little ledge. We're gonna stop here for lunch, so there's plenty of time to show you that. It's, uh, um, it is where the Clear Fork and the New Rivers join to form the Big South Fork of the Cumberland. So it's uh, the headwaters of Big South Fork. It is also the spot where, um, similar to Gentleman's Swimming Hole, it is a place where, in Victorian times, the women of rugby would come to hang out, swim, bathe, wash up. Um, pretty neat little spot. Trying to navigate this and keep an eye out for my wife behind me. So we are right here at Meeting of the Waters. This off to our right is the New River. And up here underneath the little archway, you can see some dead trees up there on the shoreline maybe. That is where the clear fork comes in and meets it and then turning to the right up here is the big south fork river okay so i think that is probably the most treacherous part of this journey right here is coming across that rock ledge well short side there and all the mud but this is meeting of the waters where we're gonna have our lunch. They're very similar to, and I couldn't tell you when the last time we were here. Got some pictures of it and I'll try to post them up. Um, but we were here several years back ago. Had our little lunch right here in the same rock that my wife is sitting on now. Although it was cooler, though, it was probably in the 50s that day. 
tell you, I'd like to, uh, I've always dreamt up a little adventure sort of thing that pretty much park where we're at now, hike the same trail that we've came into to get to here, and then veer off into the big South Fork backcountry for a couple days on a little backwoods fishing camping type of trip. Um, never quite put it together, but I think that would be kind of fun. Alright, enough babbling. I guess we'll start doing our lunch. Yeah, so our lunch isn't going to be anything overly special. Um, I don't normally pack a whole box of something in here, but we I knew it wasn't going to be a long hike, and I wanted to show you what we're having. So I'm doing one of these little Betty Crocker Suddenly Salads. Um, this one's ranch bacon and little shells and creamy stuff. I'm just going to really cook up the pasta. And then... Uh, got... Enough of these little mayonnaise packets to equal the uh, I think it was quarter cup of yes, half a cup of mayonnaise. So I got enough of these little mayonnaise packets to equal the half a cup of mayonnaise mixed in there. And now we've got uh, oh Just because you can't have anything without some kind of meat in it. Um, a couple cans of chicken breast that's already been cooked up. And drain that off and put it in the pasta also. So we're going to have a chicken bacon ranch pasta salad sort of thing. So, oh, I can't even see the viewfinder. So, here we go. So, it's uh, one can of the, one small can of the chicken chunks, the uh, bacon ranch pasta sudden salad thing, and it turned out five of them um, little mayonnaise packets. Well, you know, you can condense that down, get rid of the box, just put your pasta in a, the bag it came in, or a better Ziploc bag. Keep the little liberated uh, mayonnaises, and uh, you could probably do a pouch chicken just as easy. And a nice little backpacking lunch. It's pretty good. Well, lunch is pretty good. Didn't last long enough, but... We are going to head on out of here, I suppose. All right, Reed. Go ahead. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, move it. No, you're going first. Okay. Oh. We are now following the clear fork. Heading away from the confluence and heading towards Gentleman's Swimming Hole, which is again um, going back to Rugby Colony where all the British gentlemen would come 
and hang out and do their thing at the river. Nice little rock bluff and stuff. There is a a 12, whatever a 12 is. Snake. Where? Right okay. there. Yeah. Slow baby one. Yeah. See it? Yeah. Just a baby. Yeah. Well, yeah, scream snake out, Rufy. What do you expect someone to do? Well, uh, now you understand when you scream, when I see a spider. Yeah. Just, you know, you always make fun of me. All right, well, somewhere out here is a gentleman's swimming hole. It's number four. Four? Is that what it was? Mm, I think so. All right. It's an out and back. This isn't it exactly, but it's along this trail. If you've watched uh, my earlier videos when there was that minute long intro, um, one of the scenes in there, kind of a fall scene, some leaves blowing uh, in the air and then landing on the water. It was along this trail, probably a little further upstream now. Um, this was... Uh, this is where I filmed that part of the intro at. Ish. Yeah. It's a pretty view of the river. It's a permanent one. I don't remember it before. There's a little, at least maybe a, for sure, seasonal waterfall on the other side of the river. Noisy little fella. That noisy little waterfall again, but I was really focused on the water. Look how, look how clear that is. Pretty. Man, wouldn't that rock house be a pretty cool place to set up? That'd be pretty neat. Look at all this sand. Work my way through. Okay, so we have made it to Gentleman's Swimming Hole. It's got a nice sandy shoreline. Pretty cool little boulders and stuff to lean up and put your stuff up against. I'm guessing it's a deep pool of water. It's flowing pretty good. But uh, historically, back during Rugby Colony, as I said earlier, this is uh, where the, the gentlemen of the colony would come, spend the summers, cool off in the water, hang out, probably drink their whiskeys and smoke their cigars too, cool off from the summer sun. Pretty place. And let's see here. See, it's all nice and sandy. Pretty cool little spot. Okay, so 
look ahead here, there's this rock that kind of looks like maybe an alligator head sticking out. Put the tree on it. From up here, it looks like back maybe could have been cleared out and just looks like a running, diving, jumping platform right into the river, doesn't it? So we are leaving Gentleman's Swimming Hole, heading up the ridge now. I don't recall there being too much more to see. It's really big. Rock. But we're gonna just keep on going. We're almost to the parking lot though, probably a quarter mile. Yeah, I don't think there's much more along this trail other than the things we've already seen and done. We're just trying to work our way back to the truck. Not too much left. We're at a, another one of them little information stops that has no information. Should be number three, seeing as we just passed four. But it's been a pretty good day. Lunch was good. The hike. Down and along the Clear Fork is a little more gnarlier than I remember it. It's still enjoyable. And, uh, so I want to thank you for hanging out with us this afternoon. And uh, we'll see you next time.